love movies and movie discussions, you've come to the right place. Who am I, you ask? I am The Wiz, and I'm here today to review the 1994 adaptation of Little Women, starring Winona Ryder, Kirsten Dunst, Christian Bale, Susan Sarandon, Claire Danes, Trini Alvarado, Gabriel Byrne, Samantha Mathis. Oh my god, is there a big cast on this? And I'm, I'm missing somebody. I know I'm missing somebody. Hold on. I saw Donald Logan there. That was interesting. Uh, Eric Stoltz. Okay, I'll, I'm, I'm stopping there. Directed by Gillian Armstrong. I am recording this the day before Christmas. This is probably coming out on Christmas or the day after. I hope you had a good holiday, and if you don't believe in Christmas, I hope you had a good Monday, I guess. Okay, well, <laughs> nothing more to say about that. This is kind of a weird thing that I'm doing right now. I, I've really never watched a different adaptation of the same story. Me and Zero did one in the first year where we reviewed Infernal Affairs 1 and The Departed. And I think that's a little bit different because that, that, that was a remake of the original version. This is just another adaptation of the same story. This is going to be kind of strange because literally the same thing happens in the story that happened in the 2019 version that me and Kim reviewed about a month ago that I absolutely adored. So it's going to be very interesting to see what I think about this. Well, I already know what I think about this, so it's probably going to be interesting for you to hear what I think about this. Okay, so why don't we just get into it? Let's get into the review of Little Women, directed by Gillian Armstrong. And before we do, let's go into the plot. Uh, basically, this is about the March Sisters. It is the adaptation of the Louisa Mel Al Alcott classic novel about the March Sisters, who are sisters that live in Concord, Massachusetts around the time of the Civil War. And their father is away fighting uh, the Civil War. And it's basically about how the sisters Joe, Beth, Meg, and Amy live their lives along with the, their family members and with uh, friends such as Lori who is played by uh, Christian Bale in this version so yeah that's uh that's the story right here so let's uh, get into the review for my review let's get into my first point and my first point is that it is definitely a more traditional adaptation I'm gonna try and not to compare this to the 2019 version a lot in this review I, I can't guarantee that because a lot of the points that I have about this film is in direct comparison to that version but this is very much a more traditional version it's from A to B so you start off with Joe being a young girl and all these sisters being young to the very end of what happens at the end of Little Women in the book I would assume since I've really never read the book it is very much an A to B type of traditional adaptation Whereas the Greta Gerwig version from 2019 changed up the way the plot is broken up at certain points, which I thought was an excellent move. But just because it's more traditional doesn't mean it's not bad. I think it's good for what it is, but I will go into it a lot more when the third point comes up. But if you watch the 2019 version and you feel like it was a little too much change from what you're used to, you might prefer the, the 1994 version of Little Women. Point number two, I like some casting choices. I questioned others. I was surprised how much I liked Winona Ryder in this movie. I'm not a Winona Ryder fan. If you listen to my review of Beetlejuice, Winona Ryder was the only person in that movie I did not really like all that much. But for the most part, I did like the casting choices. I liked Kirsten Dunst as young Amy. I liked Winona Ryder as Joe. Beth and Meg, you know, Trini Alvarado is not bad as Meg, but this version had the same problem I had with the 2019 version, which is Meg doesn't really have a lot to do in this other than to be courted and then to and what, what happens next. Beth, honestly, it, it's hard for me to really talk about whether I like the casting of Claire Danes as Beth or not, because Beth isn't really shown that much in this movie. In fact, she's barely shown in this movie other than as a background character. Or someone who smiles meekly or along those lines. I think this is a, a big issue that I have with this movie. Is that the, Beth wasn't a major character in the 2019 version. But Beth was a, a much more interesting character. A much more centralized character than in the 94 version. 
it's I can't really say that Claire Danes' performance is good or bad because she's not really in it all that much. What I will criticize, though, is one casting choice, which uh, at first I was excited about, but then when I watched it, I was like, ooh, I don't know about this. And this is Christian Bale as Laurie. In the 2019 version, Timothy Chalamet was Laurie, and I thought he was fantastic as Laurie in that movie. In this version, it's hard for me to believe Christian Bale as Laurie. I think the main problem is the build and the way that Christian Bale plays Laurie. Christian Bale is a very tall guy. He's not hes not muscular in this film, but he has a very definitive frame in this that makes him feel less childlike. Whereas in the 2019 version, Chalamet is perfect as Laurie because not only is he charming, but he has a childlike quality to him that is very youthful and fits as to why this rambunctious kind of guy would want to hang out with these four sisters. Whereas I think Bale just seems kind of weird and not as charming in this version as Laurie. Now, when he becomes older, then I'm like, okay, I can see it now. I can see why they chose him as Laurie when he gets older. But when he's younger, I don't buy it so much in this. The other thing, I, I did like Kirsten Dunst's young Amy, but Samantha Mathis' old Amy, or older Amy, I should say, I didn't think really hit that well either. But on the other hand, this is also a, a problem that I have with the film is actually done because there's not a lot of time with Amy in Paris. So that is also a part that just didn't really fit very well with me either. And then Susan Sarandon as Marmy, uh, she's fine. Susan Sarandon as Marmy is fine in this. To a certain extent, I prefer Laura Dern. It's not that important. I don't think either version made her that much of an important character. I'm not going to fault it. I think it's fine. It's not like a great casting choice on my end. I like Susan Sarandon. In fact, I like all the actors in this, except for, ironically, Winona Ryder. I don't really like Winona Ryder as an actress, but... She's very good in this. I will I will give her that. She's good as Joe in this one. But Christian Bale as Laurie, I did not enjoy that one at all. And for the third point, the emotion wasn't as strong as I hoped. I think one of the best things the 2019 version did was break up the movie the way it did. And it really made it a much more emotionally palpable movie as the film goes on. 2019, they structured the movie as in as a way of joe remembering what it was like when she was younger in this movie it is just a straight adap adaptation it's from when everyone is young to when everyone grows up it's fine in that way but i don't think it was just as emotionally resonant couple of reasons that is the way it is one i think they shortchanged amy in this one when Kirsten does this Amy, she is very much a spoiled brat. But by the time that Samantha Mathis plays Amy is when she's older, I don't see a lot of the younger Amy in the older Amy. I just did not see it at all. So that was made it really hard to recognize, oh, they're the same character. Whereas in 2019, Florence Pugh played Amy both young and old, and she pulled it off incredibly well. She played young Amy the right way. She did the older Amy a very good way. Uh, she was fantastic as Amy. The other thing is Beth in this movie. Beth really ha isn't given much in this movie other than what happens to her at the end. But in the 2019 version, the way they edited it, the way they made everything out to be in that version, Beth seemed like a much more important character. Whereas in the 1994 version, it just seems like an excuse to bring the sisters together again and it just didn't feel as emotional as it did in the 2019 version. I guess the, the main point in this is the traditional way of doing an A to B to C type of structure when it comes to an adaptation of this could fit very well. And, I, and for the most part, I liked it. But compared to the 2019 version, man, the, the 2019 version, I think, just did a much better job with the emotion of this story. And I think that's what makes this story work so well. It's the emotional resonance that all the characters give you in this movie. And I felt it strongly in the 2019 version. In this version, not so much. So who do I recommend this for? Uh, I would recommend this for people if you would prefer a more traditional adaptation. Again, they don't really mess with certain things in the movie or into the story as far as I know. It's a very much a beginning to end there's no uh, difference in the way they edit everything 
So if you prefer it that way, I'd say that you probably should watch this. I would also recommend this if you like Winona Ryder. Again, I'm not a fan of Winona Ryder, but I think she is very good as Joe in this version. So if you like her, I would expect that you would actually really like her in this movie. Who do I not recommend this for? Uh, if you like the 2019 version, I'm going to be honest. I think it was a bad idea for me to watch this shortly after watching the 2019 version about a month ago. I, I think that might have colored my opinion a bit, well, probably a lot in this version. So I would say if you're going to watch a version of Little Women, I would say watch this first and then wait some time and watch the 2019 version. But if I were to choose one or the other, it would be the 2019 version. So that's my end on that one. Who do I not recommend this for? If you prefer adaptations to be more creative, like I said in the 2019 version, they played around with how the movie is set and how it starts. And I think it made it a much better film for doing so. But if you like films that try to mess with timelines or uh, try to tell a story in a different way you may not like this version i don't think it's bad it's just much more traditional in that way if you prefer it to be a little more creative i would say maybe go for the 2019 version overall i recommend this version i think it's good i'm glad that kim kind of forced me to actually watch this i will say though and i'm gonna have an argument with kim later about this i already know i am I vastly prefer the 2019 version, like vastly prefer. I think the way it's shot and the casting decisions that they made in that movie were incredibly well done. Another casting decision that I can get into that I did not like very much was Gabriel Byrne as Frederick. And the reason why is because the 2019 version, he is an older gentleman, but he's not like really old. It's really weird for Winona Ryder to fall in love with Gabriel Byrne. And I think Gabriel Byrne is like in his mid 40s in this movie. And Winona Ryder is like in her early 20s. So that was a really weird looking ending when it came to that part. I do enjoy the movie. I do like certain things. I like Winona Ryder. Uh, it, it just is a much more traditional adaptation, especially in the 90s. All 90s movies that are period pieces or period movies or period dramas seem to look and be shot the same and it's something that i've definitely noticed as time's gone on where it, in, in most period dramas now they do different things in the way they shoot the film but this is much more traditionally minded and if you prefer your stories that way in period dramas go for it i kind of like when they do different things in period dramas yeah, i'm just being honest here I, I do enjoy this version i would recommend it but would I recommend this over the 2019 version? No, I would say if you have to watch one version of Little Women, it's the 2019 version. But like Winona Ryder, if you like the cast on this one more, I'd say, yeah, go for this one. I recommend it, but yes, the 2019 version is the one I prefer. Now, if you want my full review on this movie, you can go to my website at, at IamTheWiz.com. You'll have my full written review right on the site, along with a link to the video that has this review that you've just listened to. Thank you for listening to this review. If you want to know what we're reviewing in the next couple of days, you can look on the screen right now to see what's coming up next. If you liked what you heard, go ahead and leave a like on this video. If you want to discuss your opinion on the film or the review itself, please leave a comment. And if you want to hear more, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for listening. I will talk to you next time.